In English medieval history, few figures shine as brightly as Empress Matilda. Born into a world of power and conflict, her life story is one of resilience, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of her birthright. Empress Matilda was born on February 7, 1102, in Sutton Courtenay, Berkshire. The daughter of King Henry Bramont of England and Matilda of Scotland, she was destined to inherit a legacy of power and turmoil. Raised in a royal household, Matilda grows alongside her younger brother, William Adeline, amidst a sprawling family of over 22 half-siblings. Under her mother's guidance, she learns to read and navigates a court teeming with power players like her uncle David, future King of Scotland, and her ambitious half-brother, Robert of Gloucester. Entrusted to Archbishop Anselm's care in 1108, Matilda's beauty and intelligence shine through the era's scant records. In the years 1108-1109, Henry V of Germany proposed marriage to Matilda, seeking an alliance with the prestigious English royal family. This union promised mutual benefits. It bolstered the English king's status and provided Henry V with the necessary dowry for his imperial coronation in Rome. Matilda and Henry V met in Liège, proceeding to Utrecht for their official betrothal in April 1110. By July 25th, Matilda was crowned German queen in Mainz, despite the significant age difference between the couple. Matilda, at eight years old, was then entrusted to Archbishop Bruno of Trier for education in German culture and governance. In early 1122, as Henry travelled along the Rhine to suppress political unrest, his health was failing due to cancer. His death in May 1125 left Matilda under the protection of their nephew Frederick, with the imperial insignia in her possession. The future of the empire was uncertain, and Archbishop Adalbert persuaded Matilda to entrust him with the insignia for the election of Lothair of Soplinburg as king, a former adversary of Henry. In the year 1120, a catastrophic event known as the White Ship Disaster reshaped the political landscape of England. The White Ship, carrying around 300 passengers, including the heir to the English throne, William Adelin, and numerous nobles, embarked from Barfleur in Normandy towards England. Tragically, the ship sank just outside the harbour, likely due to overcrowding or the crew's inebriation, resulting in the deaths of nearly all on board, including William Adeline. In a bold move, King Henry Y declared Matilda his successor, a decision that would ignite a struggle for power upon his death. In early 1127, King Henry initiated the search for Matilda's next husband, considering various European princes, his choice fell on Geoffrey of Anjou, aiming to fortify Normandy's southern border. The union was solidified in June 1128 in Le Mans, officiated by the bishops of Le Mans and Sée. This marriage not only reinstated the alliance between Henry Benoît and Anjou, but also positioned Geoffrey and Matilda as significant figures in the region, with Geoffrey being declared the Count of Anjou and Maine following his father's departure. In the aftermath of King Henry them's death, the struggle for the English crown ignites a fierce rivalry that would plunge the realm into chaos. In northern France, Matilda and her husband Geoffrey of Anjou muster a rebellion against the royal forces, capturing strategic Norman castles in a bold move to claim her inheritance. But as Matilda forges ahead, Stephen of Blois, seizing a moment of uncertainty, races to England, winning over the public and the church to secure his coronation a move that challenges the very oath sworn to Matilda. In the ensuing anarchy, we witness Empress Matilda's calculated campaign to reclaim her throne, beginning with a daring landing at Arundel and culminating in the pivotal Battle of Lincoln. This battle sees King Stephen captured, shifting the balance of power and marking a turning point in the conflict. Yet Matilda's path to the throne is fraught with challenges, from securing church support to facing opposition within London's walls. As Geoffrey of Anjou capitalises on the turmoil to strengthen his position in Normandy, the shifting loyalties and strategic plays on both sides of the Channel underscore the complexity of medieval warfare and diplomacy. The narrative climaxes with the dramatic route of Winchester and the Siege of Oxford, where Matilda's resilience and strategic acumen are put to the ultimate test. As the 1140s drew to a close, the fierce battles that had once ravaged the land began to subside, transforming the conflict into a stalemate marked by sporadic skirmishes. 
This period saw the loss of several key figures in Matilda's camp, notably Robert of Gloucester passed away in 1147, and Brian Fitzcount faded from the public eye, likely retreating to monastic life until his death in 1151. The announcement of the Second Crusade in 1145 drew away many of Matilda's followers, leaving the region devoid of her staunchest supporters. During this time, Matilda's eldest son, Henry, began to emerge as a prominent figure in the ongoing struggle. Despite staying in France initially, Henry made several forays into England, starting in 1142. His father, Geoffrey of Anjou, groomed him for leadership, expecting him to ascend to the English throne. However, Henry's military efforts in 1147 faltered due to financial constraints, leading to an unexpected bailout by Stephen, the reasons for which remain speculative. In 1148, Matilda made the strategic decision to return to Normandy, partly due to escalating tensions with the church. The contention over Devizes Castle, a key stronghold legally owned by Bishop Jocelyn de Bohon, but occupied by Matilda, reached a climax with Pope Eugene III threatening her with excommunication. Eventually, Matilda conceded, leaving the castle to Henry and resettling in Rouen. Here she focused on the administration of Normandy, coordinating with her family and preparing for Henry's future endeavours. The death of Stephen in 1154 paved the way for Henry's ascension to the throne, utilising the imperial regalia Matilda had preserved from her time in Germany. With Henry's coronation, the discord that had plagued Matilda's efforts in Normandy began to dissipate, marking the end of her turbulent quest for power and the beginning of a new era under her son's reign. Empress Matilda breathed her last on September 10, 1167, in Rouen. By her wishes, her wealth was bestowed upon the church. Her final resting place was beneath the high altar at Bec Helouin Abbey, in a ceremony presided over by Rotrou, the Archbishop of Rouen. Matilda's tomb was inscribed with an epitaph that eloquently captured her significance. Great by birth, greater by marriage, greatest in her offspring, here lies Matilda, the daughter, wife, and mother of Henry. This tribute resonated deeply, echoing her remarkable life and legacy among those who knew her. Thank you for joining us on this immersive journey through the past. Be sure to subscribe to History Medieval for more captivating insights into the annals of history.